So first of all, to download Unity engine, open up your browser and search Unity download Unity Hub. So click on this first link, which is unity3d.com slash get unity slash download. So on this page, you can find the download button to download Unity Hub. You can also download Unity directly, but Unity Hub will help us to manage our projects and other Unity versions very easily, which I will show you in a moment. So click on this download Unity Hub button and download Unity Hub. So it is as simple as downloading and installing any other software. So it should be pretty straightforward. So download Unity Hub. After downloading Unity Hub, it will look like this. Your projects feed would be empty because you would have not created any projects. So we will quickly talk about some tabs. So here it is a learn tab. So here there are there are lots of tutorials which you can watch from Unity and this is a community uh, forums and blogs and here it is installs so here we can download different Unity versions currently I have downloaded 2019.4.20 F1 LTS this LTS means long term support so Whenever we download any version, it is recommended to download LTS version so that we don't face any difficulties in future. We will download a new version in a moment. But first of all, we have to do some necessary things. So first of all, we have to generate a license. So click on this settings button and then here you can click on license management. I have already activated a personal license but you you would not have this so you have to log in in your unity account to generate license so click on login so it will prompt you to the unity hub sign in so here you can sign in with your email and password if you haven't created a unity id yet so click, click here create one and uh, you can create it easily it is as simple as creating a, any Gmail account. So once I will log in, then, I, then we will continue. So I have logged into my Unity account. So from here, we can click on activate new license. Here we can choose either Unity Personal or Unity Pro. Uh, for this series, the personal would be more than enough. If you are running any enterprise or big company which is making more than hundred thousand dollars per year then uh, you have to uh, take subscription of unity but for in our case it is fine to download unity personal and if, from here it will ask uh, for these two options so just click on this i don't use unity in a professional capacity or if you use it for a professional capacity then click on this first option and uh, click on done I have already activated my account so that's why I am not going to do it again but you have to just click on done and your license will be created so after doing that you would be able to download new unity versions so here click on install step and from here we can add new unity versions so click on add button here and it will ask you to download any of these versions so these are official releases and uh, these are alpha releases and uh, uh, 
early versions of Unity uh, which are in testing mode. So it is recommending us to download this LTS version which is long term support version. So we will click on next and from here if you have not installed any IDE on your computer then uh, click on this we will download Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2019 you can also use VS Code with Unity but for this series we will use Visual Studio so go ahead and uh, download this click on this uh, checkbox and uh, we will be making this game for Android so we need to in install Android build support so expand this and uh, make sure you have selected these Check boxes Android SDK and NDK tools and open JDK. So it uh, your selection should look like this. So if you are done, then you can hit on next, and uh, it will ask us for accepting terms and condition. So go ahead and read these terms and conditions, and. Uh, click on next and you will, you will be able to download it will take some time to download this unity version on your computer after downloading this we, we will be able to create new projects i have i have already this version 2019.4.20 f1 which is fine because our game is not very complicated so the the version will not matter that much so you can download any version so now we will click click on projects tab and from here we will create new project so click on new and then it will ask us to create either 2d or 3d or there are many other options like universal render pipeline uh, which is not the topic of this video so we will be making a 2d game so click on 2d and uh, from here we can name our project so this this will be an endless runner game so go ahead and name you can name it whatever you want i will name it endless runner android and you can save your project anywhere i am going to save it in f drive and in unity projects 3d folder actually you can save it anywhere you want so go ahead and click on create so it will create a new project 